Boys and girls, cats and squirrels, welcome back to Clash of Clans. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but we're getting Town Hall 16 Part 2 today. Well, not today, but like in the next week or so. I don't know how long the sneak peeks are going on because I don't have the sneak peeks myself. But I'm going to cover it the best I can from my understanding of what's coming out with a new update. So if you guys enjoy, make sure to leave a like, sub, and comment down below. It's much appreciated. Let's push to a thousand subs. Thank you guys so much for the love and support recently. And thank you guys yet again for watching. Let's get into the video here. And let's just do a sneaky goblin attack while we discuss what's going on with Town Hall 16. So, starting off with Town Hall 16, we originally did not have new levels for the Inferno Towers. The um, We had it for the Expos, but now the Scatter Shots. We had it for the basically everything except the Tesla's scatter shots and inferno towers i think i don't think there was anything else that got left out so since then i don't think anyone's been like disappointed by that necessarily i feel like it's been relatively a stable like game recently R rather to have been in the meta yes but not necessarily super overpowered. All it does is negate the fact that you should ever upgrade walls. Um, but realistically, the game's been really in a good state, in my opinion. I've enjoyed low-level gameplay. I've enjoyed high-level gameplay. I've enjoyed in-between, you know? I don't think there's been anything too busted recently. So, with that being said... That is about to change, because we're getting a new level of Scattershot, a new level of Inferno Towers, a new level of Tesla, and that's, you know, not the end of the world. It's just a couple defenses. Um, the Scattershots aren't even getting that big of a buff, you know. Uh, but the Inferno Towers are still going to be a absolute disaster class trying to, you know, actually beat them. It's always just been difficult with infernos to have them balanced i feel in clash of clans because they're meant to be super overpowered but the only way you can achieve that is by making them super overpowered and then it makes everything else underpowered and then you got to power creep everything and it yeah so recently though it has felt quite stable and good for the like whole of clash of clans and i've appreciated that um but apparently we're getting a new spell don't know what it is but it's a dark spell so i'm really excited about that i feel like that might mess with the game though like as a whole um i'm not quite sure if that's going to be a good thing because i believe you get it at town hall 12 that is going to absolutely revolutionize low level gameplay in clash of clans because you're going to be able to get that at town hall I don't even know what town hall, but the first town hall you can get your clan castle for spells. You're probably going to be able to also get this new spell. It's a green spell by the looks of things, and I feel like it's going to be good. Like, the bat spell, the skeleton spell. Recently, there haven't been a lot of good spells added, and especially in the dark spells. Like, skeleton and bat, you know, you can, like, skelly donut and whatnot. Invis has been good, but Clone is only really good in Blimps, which, by the way, Super Archers are getting nerfed, so Blimps are going to be worse now. And Recall Spell, I just, I feel like that's a really, really iffy, it's got a really weird spot in the game, I'd say. It just doesn't feel like it actually belongs. It, it feels more like almost something that like, should be in some sort of other Supercell game. I don't know. Anyways, disregarding that, let's move on to the fact that, yes, we're getting a new spell, but we're also getting new troop levels. The Hog Rider, which I have maxed right now, is going to level 13. That's going to be really fun. Hopefully, it brings back Super Hogs because, gosh, I really want to be able to use Super Hogs. But then again, I could probably use them right now. I just, you know, I don't have the strats for it, and if the pros come out with, like, an actual strategy guide for it, I can apply it to my town hall, because I have the same amount of troop space if I upgrade my last two army camps. 
Um, I've kind of been delaying that for like a long time. Not because I don't want to, but because I just haven't had the elixir necessarily. Um, other than that, the minions are getting a really cool, you know, design with their new level at, I, I want to say it's 11, but I don't, I think it might be more. It might be, it might be more. I can't remember, but they're getting a really cool purple pink design. I think it looks phenomenal. Maybe the best one yet, but then again, I don't know. I really like the like town hall. I think it's town hall 11 look town hall 10 11 look. It's where they're like purple and orange. I, I like that actually surprisingly. It doesn't look as bad as I kind of for a while I thought it didn't look very good and then it kind of started to grow on me. Anyways, let's move on to the next troop that's getting a new level, the bowler. I am upgrading mine to level 7. It's going to be maxed right before they unlock the new level, which the new level looks absolutely phenomenal by the way. It has roots growing off of its boulder and it just it fits perfectly with the town hall 16 theme i absolutely love what supercell did with it thank you guys so much the dev team should be proud of themselves with that not even gonna lie it is they went so hard with that design like it is so good and then i believe there's one more troop I want to say there's one more true but I can't remember what it is because it's probably an irrelevant troop to me and so I'm just going to move on then and say all the dragons are getting buffs normal dragons super dragons and electro dragons the one dragon that isn't getting a buff is the baby dragon but it's getting a new level that's the troop i forgot it's getting a new level it's green now looks really cool in my opinion and honestly i don't mind that it doesn't look too much different than like actually that's like level nine right now i'm happy it doesn't look too over the top uh but but electro dragons are getting 200 more hit points why 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 I'm actually pissed about that. Everybody already spams them. Why do we gotta do this more? Why? For Pete's sake, man, come on. Like, I'm actually pissed about it. Like, actually. Like, oh, but by the way, we still have the, you know, the upgrade bars here in the um, builder base, but no longer if we go over to the main base but it's coming back let's go give it up for the the bars coming back the progress bars thank you guys so much supercell i cannot thank you enough um hmm. let's do mega tesla here guys and one last thing that is happening that i know for certain is that Gold mines, elixir collectors, and dark elixir drills are getting a new level as well. Can't wait for that. It's going to be really fun. Um, and I just remember two more things. Um, we're getting a rework on Spirit Fox because right now it's not technically supposed to freeze things, but it does like technically freeze things, I think. I, I assume it was never supposed to, but it does right now. The Electro Owl is getting five more levels up to level 15 it's gonna hopefully be better at town hall 15 then i don't know if it'll be good at town hall 16 still seeing as you get the spirit fox but it'll probably find a way into the meta at you know town hall 15 for sure and then the final thing i can think of here is the siege barracks are going to level five i don't know what town hall you get it at i hope i can get it at 15 because it's going to be so good you get two pekkas spawning out of the siege barracks and then also you get, you know, your clan castle space. And it's going to be ridiculous. Two P.E.K.K.A.s for free? And then also the Log Launcher, my personal favorite, and has always been the favorite in my heart of hearts, is getting a new level up to level 5. It is going to have a longer lifetime, which means it's going to be able... And it's also going to be able to tank more damage, which means it's going to be even better. And I cannot wait for that. 
it's going to be such a fun update, guys. I don't know what else is going to happen with the update, like I said, because I don't have all the, you know, answers, seen as they don't give me the, the developer build, seen as I'm not big enough for them yet. But that's fine, because I can still try and give you guys as much content as possible, and hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll see y'all in the next one. Sorry if I sound a little weird in this one. I'm, I think I'm coming down with a cold. I'm not sure. My throat's been sore. I, th I thought it was personally just the fact that I recorded three videos in one day. But it's lasted a day and a half now at least. And I'm starting to feel like it might be a cold. I'm going to try and power through it though for you guys. I already have three v other videos though pre-recorded. But I had to make sure I get this one out for you guys right now. Because this is the most relevant info that you guys need to know right now. So thank you guys so much. It doesn't lose you anything to subscribe, so do it right now. I know you didn't earlier, but if you made it this far, you might as well. Thank you guys for the love and support recently. Let's get to a thousand subs. I think I'm going to start streaming on Twitch because when I stream on YouTube, it feels like it makes my videos negatively like affected. So I'm not trying to stunt my growth because I want to stream. So, if you guys do want to see those, check out my Twitch. I'll put it in the description. Uh, I do inevitably want to rather stream on YouTube because I prefer YouTube for everything. But, yeah, let me grow my channel a little bit first before I stunt the growth. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace!